Euclid's division algorithm. An algorithm is a series of well-defined steps which gives a procedure to solve a type of problem. Euclid's division algorithm is a technique used to compute the highest common factor of two given positive integers. Highest common factor of two positive integers a and b is the largest positive integer d that divides both a and b. So, let us state Euclid's division algorithm clearly. To obtain the HCF of two positive integers, say a and b with a greater than b, follow the steps below. Step 1. Apply Euclid's division lemma to a and b. So, we find whole numbers q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than equal to r less than b. Step 2. If r is equal to 0, b is the HCF of a and b. If r not equal to 0, then apply the division lemma to b and r. Step 3. Continue the process till the remainder is 0. The divisor at this stage will be the required HCF. Let us solve some examples by using Euclid's division algorithm. Example 1. Use Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF of 867 and 255. Solution. Given numbers 867 and 255. As we know, 867 is greater than 255. In division, we have to always take the bigger number as the dividend and smaller number as divisor. Let us apply Euclid's division algorithm now. Here, we have to do simple division. 867 divided by 255. 255 multiplied by 3 is 765. And here, 867 minus 765 gives you 102. So, remainder 102. So, let us apply Euclid's division lemma. A is equal to BQ plus R. R lies between 0 and B. Here, A is equal to 867. A is dividend. B is divisor. Is equal to 255. Q is quotient. Is equal to 3. And R is remainder. Is equal to 102. A is equal to BQ plus R. Put the value in this equation. We get 867 is equal to 255 into 3 plus 102. Here, remainder 102 not equal to 0. We have to do division again because our remainder is 102. We should repeat this process until we get remainder as 0. Therefore, now taking 255 as a dividend, and 102 as a divisor. 255 divided by 102. 102 multiplied by 2 is 204. So here quotient is 2 and remainder is 51. Now use Euclid's division lemma. A is equal to BQ plus R. R lies between 0 and B. We get here A is equal to 255 b is equal to 102, q is equal to 2 and r is equal to 51. We should put the value 255 is equal to 102 into 2 plus 51. Again r is equal to 51, not equal to 0. Now 102 is the new dividend. So repeating the same step we get. Now taking 102 as a dividend. And 51 is divisor. 255 divided by 102. 51 multiplied by 2 is 102. So here quotient is 2 and remainder is 0. See, now we got remainder 0. So now we should stop the division because we got the remainder as 0. Since 
in the last step the divisor is 51 using euclid's division lemma we can write it as 102 is equal to 51 into 2 plus 0 therefore hcf of 867 and 255 is equal to hcf of 255 and 102 is equal to hcf of 102 and 51 is equal to 51 hence the hcf of 867 and 255 is 51 an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade the two groups are to march in the same number of columns what is the maximum number of columns in which they can march solution maximum number of columns is equal to hcf of 616 and 32 for finding the HCF. We should apply Euclid's division algorithm. Given numbers are six, sixteen, and thirty-two. On applying Euclid's division lemma, we have six, sixteen is equal to thirty-two into nineteen plus eight. Since the remainder eight not equal to zero, so again we apply Euclid's division algorithm to thirty-two and eight to get. So thirty-two divided by eight. After doing this division, we got quotient as four. We got the remainder as zero. The remainder has now becomes zero. So we can stop. On applying Euclid's division lemma, we have at the last stage the divisor is eight. The HCF of six sixteen and thirty-two is eight. Therefore, the maximum number of columns in which An army contingent of six sixteen members can march behind an army band of thirty two members in a parade is eight. Mathematics gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thanks for watching.